In this series we go to the Gili Islands. These are three tiny islands located in the middle of the oceans an hour and a half from Bali. We sailed here to hide from the local religious holiday Day of Silence. What is it? I told in one of the videos about Bali. This is the island Gili Travangan. And in fact this is its entire size. We sailed to the Gili Islands. This is an archipelago of three islands Gili Air, Gili Meno and Gili Travangan, which we are right now. This island is the largest of all. Tomorrow we will go to the smallest element. People come here to get high. In Indonesia are prohibited up to the death penalty. But it is here on this island, I don't know why, but halogenogenic mushrooms are legalized. People from all over the world come here to get high. We have a situation in general. We could not pay for hotels and Russian rubles. They don't necessarily accept prepayment. They need a small one advance payment in rupees. It's not debited from the Russian card, I think, uh, but we'll come and find some hotel. As a result, yesterday there were 100 of them available. Today it shows 5, and they cost very decent money. Let's go for a walk around the island. We go to every hotel. Sorry, it's full for today. Oof. After an hour of searching for a hotel, where find it? I got sunburned, it was just terrible. And the local guys helped us, we were met at a hotel by a young man, who said there was no room. He called friend and he arrived on a bicycle and went to show us some hotels. We went through the whole island, talked to all the hotel owners he knew. Eventually they reached his brother and rented a bungalow like this. Not a premier luxury, but this is possibly the last room on the island in general. Here are such outdoor amenities. Darkness is slowly falling on the island, and as I was told this, is a lull before the storm. They probably could have noticed that there were no buzzing cars or mopeds on the island, because they are simply prohibited here. People move exclusively on bikes. It's amazing how many people there were during the day when everyone started arriving now. It's evening, it's just sunset, there is almost no one on the streets. But in the evening, they told me, wait in the evening, it's going to be road, hear music, is turning on over where nightclubs. People are starting to use mushrooms and a lot of alcohol and the trash starts. People slowly start crawling out riding bikes. Most cafes have signs hanging selling mushrooms fresh hard bars and do not advise you to use drugs right up to death. Everything here is legal. They offer me not only mushrooms but also everything your heart desires. The morning has come. We are going to swim there for just 10 minutes. Look at the beauty of the transparent blue crystal water, clean beaches. I can't even believe that this is just only driving more often in pain. Yesterday I talked to a local guy, he told me about mushrooms and drugs on this island. Why it is legal? Because the island is run by local people. They are the authorities here and the local people did not allow the state to send here. There is absolutely no police on this island, there is no police control. That is, 
it's half legal according to the laws of Indonesia. It's prohibited, but according to the laws of this island, it's uh, quite normal. They made such an entertainment for tourists. And here on the islands or some, it's very excessive, very kind and very sympathetic people. Unlike again in Bali. Because if in Bali a local says to you, let me help you, let me do something for you, you can count on the fact that they want to deceive you by collecting money three times more than the real price for any product. Here the guys say if I hadn't found uh, housing yesterday they would have given me their beds. They wouldn't have stayed overnight on the benches. Can you imagine how kind real people are? They say that in Balinesians, except for Bali, hate people from Indonesia, because they are so too real, too kind. Like, what about the money? Well, the adventure continues. Got tickets for the 11 am boat to the neighboring island. Arrived on time, and the guys simply forgot about it. We were five minutes late for the last boat and uh, now they dropped me off uh, with the guys who rented a boat for themselves. They are perplexed like what kind of a guy is going with them. I had to negotiate and I say I don't care but you have to take me there. I arrived at the place. I was dropped off at uh, Gilimena Island. It's absolutely tiny. The island I'll try to walk through it in about 15 minutes. The first impression is just wow, wow effect. The same small island with uh, perfectly white and uh, blue water. Everything is clean, very quiet, very calm and uh, I've met so far 10 minutes of free people. There is no one at all. It's very strange, because 10 minutes of sailing on a boat and you are plunged into the complete house of the island of Travanga. Look how beautiful it is all around. The greenery on the shore of the palm trees. The silence is a fairy tale. In general, I wanted to spend the second day on this island. Book this is where the hotel was, but didn't take any risks since we found the last room on Travangan. I thought logically that this island is several times smaller. So there are fewer hotels here. So far, I've only seen two. Not on every corner and uh, I thought that everything was probably booked here a long time ago. Most likely I want to risk and then suddenly he'll say that there are free rooms. I'll be upset. But I just came for a walk for a couple of hours to see what's here. How they live here. And I'm going to some kind of jungle and I hope I don't meet some kind of monitor, lizard or crocodile. I met these interesting pillars that are made of coral. It's crazy. This is about two and a half meters high. The plague you just praised the island for the cleanest clean beaches, like this. If you walk further away, you'll see a huge amount of uh, garbage from landfills. Here is the first hotel that I met on the way, about 15 minutes later. It was probably walking very beautiful, right on the sand on the ocean shore. Local guys collect these little turtles on the shore. They get stuck there. They are eaten by predators. They are collect, they are raised here, and then when they grow and become large, they are released into the ocean. This is worthy of respect. 
This is actually what the islands look like from above. This is uh, Gili Air and uh, Gili Mena. I'm there right here now. And the largest island is Travangan. Gili Air, that means no air, on the disc is translated into English. It is translated as water. To Gilimena this is a small, like a mini. And Travangan, this was uh, a Dutch colony, that is, the Dutch arrived at one time and colonized the local people. This is uh, the name of the colony. I asked why does not it change the name. I don't know, it's just that this word is associated with the very bad things of local people. And the word Gili means small island, that is, a small island turns out to be small. Gilimeno. No matter where you look, these are so chic views of the Azure Ocean. You can stay in this bungalow, you come out from the balcony and immediately there is such beauty. Motorcycles and everything else are also prohibited on this island. People move around on horses and bikes. This road divides the island in half. I mean you pass right throughout with from one shore to the other. Now let's check how long it will take me. The island is completely empty. There are very few of these small developers. As I understand it, the locals live here. Those who work raise chickens. It's very nice that the nature is natural. Despite the fact that on the island, as it seemed to me, there are literally 10 hotels here and uh, abandoned hotels, I can assume that they were closed during the coronavirus. The road from the island took me 7 minutes, not even 15. 7 minutes and you come from one shore to I managed to go around the entire island in an hour. Gilimena seemed to me simply and unique authentic place, as the way where the real original nature has been preserved. There are so few tourists, so few hotels, only locals live and here it's like this. Silence, birds are singing, in general there is no one on the streets, I can meet one person there. I don't know, literally 10 minutes I think this is an ideal place to go away for a weekend with families. Hello. <laughs> These kids are so cute here. It's a fairy tale. It's just a miracle place. A paradise for introverts and also just imagine on this teeny island that you can walk throughout in literally 10 minutes. It has its own lake. I would not say that it's small. If you like silence, solitude, tranquility, the absence of any crowd of loud music, tourists, these comrades who offer you all sorts of things that they offer. There is a taxi, boss, boss, he definitely needs a girl. This is the ideal place to spend a quiet weekend here alone. My couple of hours on uh, Gilimena Island ends. I'm going to swim back. Today we have an hour day ahead of us snorkeling driving with underwater inhabitants, with the, the turtles and we'll look at the underwater figures. We are now on Gilimeno. This is Lombok. And this Gili Air, on which I can't. I managed to get in this time between the islands there is a public bus. 
This is a kind of minibus board. If you can say it's cost 85,000 rupees. That's about four dollars to sell, in fact, for less than 10 minutes only. In January of this year, two boats of the same kind sank. Tourists all escaped there, are life jackets there, of course. But the very fact of uh, sediment is at least unpleasant. How much equipment was lost? So I recommended talking with you. Maybe Ziploc bags that do not uh, allow water to pass through in case the boat starts to sink. Put everything in there, technical documents, otherwise the trip may not be the most pleasant. A huge number of fat fluffy cats, which absolutely not in belly, they don't like cats. They don't understand European people why we pet them. They are considered like rats there. But here they are loved, valued, fed, but only here. Because in all other Indonesian people for some reason are simply scared of them. For example, yesterday a girl, apparently from the continent, came to her and cat came up to her. She was scared as uh, if it was some kind of crocodile. There is nothing to do here, in fact it's an island. A large village and the entire embankment is uh, strewn with pairs of cafes. People come here to dance on mushrooms and create some mayhem. I can't recommend it. If you like privacy and silence, here I am uh, a pensioner. It seems uh, to the Gilimeno is an ideal place to spend a weekend reading a book, sitting on the shore, taking a break from the world, from the noise, from the flowers, from the internet. By the way, here you can go diving or snorkeling, swim with the turtles or dive with the famous statues that you definitely seen somewhere. Here the photo will be generally cool, but it's on the island of Travangan. That it's as if there is uh, no soul. The island of loveless, boundless energy. I didn't really like it here. If you were here, write in the comments. But no, that's not all. Another singer happened here, not only bought. It was one hour late and uh, it's crowded. Now we'll have to wait for the next one. Think three times if you're planning to come here. As I understand it, it's stable here, the usual story. <laughs>